Yeah, hello. We have a Lenovo today, it's a ThinkPad. So, what is wrong with this one? Put in the chargers. Having a fun error. I want us to see how you can solve this problem. So it's on. Check here. You get a message here on fun error. You want us to see how you can correct that problem. Yeah, check the fun error and then the machine will go out eh? fun error the machine goes off fun error the machine goes off let's do it again Lenovo check here now an error yeah and the machine goes off yeah so let's see what you can do on this one let's see what you can do here Nothing else. <clears throat> yeah, so the cover is out. So come to this part here. This one is called the fan. I remove the fan and try to see what is happening inside here. Yeah, somebody was asking what is that sound? This one here. I don't know like that. It's the one that gives that sound. So don't think that I'm having other robotics in the in the shop. I'm not having any other robots. Okay, so see whether we can be able to fix that problem. Okay. Yeah, so after I checked for the fan, I thought the fan was a bit dirty, but uh, that was not the case. And actually, I've come to realize there was a problem with this fan eh? because of lack of the there's a sensor that is always you see this place here. And I took so long to understand this because uh, there's no way I could have told without checking very keenly there is a let's go under the microscope so that you see that there's a sensor on Lenovo fans that it that must be there for Lenovo to to have a healthy fan so let's check together Okay, just a minute. So I'm trying to check for the microscope. Yeah, here it is. Eh? So I want us to check that area I'm talking about. 
where the fan has been ripped off for the sense uh, the sensor has been ripped off from okay let me see whether i'll be able to show you that okay where is the flex yeah, i think this is the flex we are talking about eh? you see this place here here you see there's a sensor that has been there's a cable that has been ripped off here yeah that is a cable that is a flex that is going to the sensing point so that the phone the fan may stop detecting the fan error eh? you can see actually it's very hard to see without a microscope i struggled to see this and eh? now i only after i went under the microscope i was able to detect this eh? so what i'll do i've gone ahead to ask for another complete set of a cooling system over Lenovo so maybe let's go back to the camera mode so that I can show you this and I'll show you the yeah the part I'm talking about yeah this is the old one and now I have the another one I've sourced another one from another machine so you see the sensor we are talking about is the one here this is where the part has been ripped off. I don't know whether you'll be able to see that. Or maybe I may have to go back under the microscope. So let me try to be very careful. So that we can... We may not... So we still have to go under the microscope so that I can show you the difference between this one. I don't know whether you can see that part here. can see there are two flexes eh? uh, there is the flex that is going to I don't know whether can I try to okay they cannot pass to the other side eh? we have this flex here you see this one and now this one going to this one here you can see there's a there are two flexes the one is ripped uh, the, the older one this flex is ripped off here so if you come here, you get where the sensor is. The sensor is somewhere here. So let's just, let me show you. This is where this cable is coming to. And as you can see, you can see the cable. You can see the cable I'm talking about here. You see this cable. This cable here is coming to join this part of the fan here. Is the one here going underway, coming this way. This is the cable and coming to this area here. Maybe let me try to, to remove so that you can see. You can see the sensor I'm talking about because a lot of you are going to have this fan error and you are not going to know where this one is originating from. So I thought maybe I should make this video so that all of you can see this. You see? Now this is the cable I'm talking about, you see? This cable here. This cable is coming and touching this area here of the heat sink. This area of the heat sink here. See that cable. Without this sensor, the machine will have a fan error. As you can see on this one, the cable is not there. The cable has been ripped off on the older one, you see. And even if we let us just turn it because it's already damaged, you can see the flex is not having the other the other cable that is going to that is going to the sensing point of the heat sink so the fan will always have the fan error so let's try to take back this cable uh, make sure this cable is touching there because if it's not touching you are going to have that problem of fan error on Lenovo laptop. 
that is the secret behind the Lenovo fan error problem. All right, so let us install this one and see how this one is going to work. Let's install the new one now. You see whether it's going to give us a display. Okay. Or whether the fan area is going to go away. That one is in position. Okay, let's settle these cables. Yeah, that cable is okay. This one is okay. Okay, that way. So let's check whether this problem is going to go away. The fan error problem. Now that we have changed the Super on. So Lenovo, yeah, that error was coming around this place here. So try to be careful to be keen to see whether that is going to come back. And you can see it's loading Windows directly. So the fan error is no longer there. So this is our fan. Let's see whether the fan is going to spin. Yeah, the fan is spinning as you can see. Yeah? The fan is spinning. And you're not going to get that fan error again. Whatever way you may try. So we can even shut the machine down again. And maybe start it again and see whether that problem is gone. Eh? So be careful of that sensor, remember. Uh, if you are not able in like we could not have repaired this one because as you have seen it's a flex cable it's a plastic flex cable there's no you can solder that using a solder gun or using a solder wire so this is just to replace because the it's more to do with a kind of like a keyboard keyboard connector it's more plastic than uh, something you can solder so you just change the fan you don't have to change the heat sink. You can take the fan. The fan will come with both flexes, the one of the sensor and the one that takes power to the fan. So you can even get a fan and connect with the heat sink and connect. So let's put it on again. You see whether that error is has gone completely. And you can see it's gone. Eh? Yeah, so that's how you solve a Lenovo fan error. If you are having it, please try to go to the heat sink and make sure the sensor is touching where it's supposed to touch. They are there. I've been brought to there. So many machines have been brought to me, and I come to find that the fault is that the sensor is not touching the heat sink. It's just above. It's not having a contact with the heat sink, and because of that, the machine will keep bringing the fan error, and the client will bring. And maybe all I have to do is just to take back the sensor and the machine is back to normal and some have been ripped off like the one we're having right here so guys that is uh something i wanted you to know maybe and thank you for subscribing for the guys who have been able to subscribe and you who have not subscribed what are you waiting for support the work yeah and we'll be grateful also the have the membership packages i've already made them all that is remaining is to make the membership videos and here i'm going to be very critical and maybe to to have very good videos that are those videos i want to to belong to those guys who want to learn repairs and somebody who is so passionate about this job because i'm going to to show very critical videos like how do you start to diagnose motherboard 
components which components do you start where you, which is the secret when you have this kind of problem which are the machines and which are the mm, items you need to have as a technician as a starter and we are going to talk about all that in the membership so all you can do is just join the membership and we are going to do more uh, maybe with time i live and come up with some webinars and other things so that we can learn together thank you guys keep subscribing keep sharing keep liking and let me know what you think down in the comment section let's meet in the next video bye